Opposition ruckus in the Rajya Sabha on the issues of Lalit Modi and Vyapam claimed another day of the House. The opposition has been adamant on its demands of resignations of External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj, Rajasthan Chief Minister Vasundhara Raje and Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister Shivraj Singh Chauhan. The Lok Sabha also witnessed repeated adjournments over the issues of Lalit Modi and Vyapam recruitment scam after the opposition returned to the lower house today. Major opposition parties had been boycotting the house against the suspension of 25 Congress MPs from the Lok Sabha. The house was later adjourned for the day as the uproar continued. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has hit out at the Congress for causing constant disruptions in Parliament. Jaitley said that Sushma Swaraj issue is being used as a pretext by the Congress to stop the passage of the GST bill. He said that most Congress leaders are against disruptions in Parliament, but their two top leaders want to stall the House. The Joint Committee of Parliament on the Land Acquisition Bill will submit its report in the winter session. The committee, led by BJP leader SS Ahluwalia, was earlier scheduled to submit its report to Parliament in the ongoing session. The report of the committee could not be finalised as the Congress and the TMC have sought more time. Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh has informed the Lok Sabha that Rapid Action Force personnel have been rushed to Deokhar in Jharkhand for better crowd management after 11 people died in a stampede near a temple. The tragedy took place in the early hours as devotees tried to jump the queue. A high-level committee headed by State Home Secretary N. N. Pandey will probe the incident. The Supreme Court has allowed repairing of covers and providing other facilities at makeshift temple of Lord Rama at Ayodhya. The court said that the exercise has to be undertaken by the district collector of Faisabad under the supervision of two independent observers. Mild tremors were felt in parts of North India today including Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Haryana and NCR around Delhi. In Srinagar, the tremors triggered panic, forcing people to rush out of their homes and offices. A strong quake also jolted several parts of Pakistan. According to reports, the epicentre of the quake was in the border region of Afghanistan and Tajikistan. The government has launched an innovative drive to provide social security to women ahead of Raksha Bandhan. With Suraksha Bandhan Drive, participating banks and insurance companies during August to September will enable brothers to gift three social security schemes to sisters. The drive will be supported through the Jeevan Suraksha gift checks. The third round of cold auction will begin tomorrow. 22 applications from companies including Hindalco, Vedanta, JSW Steel and Sale have cleared the initial stages for a total of five mines on the block. The government will put five coal blocks having total extractable reserves of over 200 million tons on the block for this round. Sri Lanka has released all 40 Indian fishermen in its custody ahead of Independence Day as a goodwill gesture. According to the Indian Consulate General's office in Jaffna, the fishermen were released by Manar and Point Pedro courts on the advice of Sri Lanka's Attorney General. The fishermen were caught by Sri Lankan Navy on charges of trespassing into Sri Lankan waters in June. A suicide car bombing at a brizzy roundabout near the entrance to Kabul's International Airport today killed at least four people and wounded another 15, according to initial reports. Kabul was already on high alert before the blast following last week's attacks, which killed at least 50 civilians and security forces personnel in the worst violence seen in the city in years. The Turkish city of Istanbul was rocked by an attack on U.S. consulate building with gunmen opening fire and then fleeing away. One of the attackers has been nabbed. Turkey has been in a heightened state of alert since it launched a crackdown on terror sources including airstrikes against Islamic State fighters in Syria and Kurdish militants in northern Iraq. In another attack, a suspected suicide bomber detonated a vehicle packed with explosives at a police station, wounding 10 people. India's opening batsman Murli Vijay has been ruled out of the first test against Sri Lanka due to a mild hamstring strain. Vijay had also missed batting in a three-day practice game against Sri Lanka's board president's 11 due to a hamstring strain. The test starts in Gaul on August 12th. In Vijay's absence, India will go in with Shikhar Dhawan and KL Rahul as the opening pair. A tougher test awaits the Indian men's hockey team when they take on Spain in a three-match series starting today. Both India and Spain put up a challenging performance in the Netherlands at the 2014 World Cup, where they settled for a 1-1 draw. Men and women, young and old, Medellin's floral artisans participated in the Colombian city's colourful flower festival, celebrating the art of floristry. Participants showed off elaborate floral arrangements. The annual flower parade reportedly goes back to 1957 when a Medellin local invited florists from nearby villages to march in the city to display their colourful arrangements. More than 50 years on, the humble parade has evolved to become a prized event in Colombia's cultural calendar.